This is MSI's GS60, and this is possibly my favourite laptop around. Stick around to find out why, but uh, make sure you subscribe for more awesome tech before we even finish this intro. Stick around. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products, and also up-to-date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. So this is MSI's GS60. It's a pretty awesome gaming laptop. This is the Skylake version with the 6700HQ and has brushed aluminium uh, kind of all around it, but uh, especially on the top cover with the kind of slightly aggressive lines in the Illuminated Dragon logo. Now on the right hand side you've got some ventilation, a gigabit ethernet port, mini display port, HDMI, an SD card reader, as well as a USB 3.1 type C port, which I'm really, really glad MSI put on the laptop this time. On the left hand side you've got some more ventilation as well as a Kensington lock, the DC in, two USB 3 ports and headphone and microphone jacks. All of this is pretty comprehensive and pretty awesome. Now the keyboard is kind of set in from the rest of the laptop which is actually a really cool feature so that you don't kind of get key imprints on the screen when you shut it in sort of the clamshell mode um, which is actually really nice and even though it's kind of set in you still get a pretty decent travel distance which is nice and uh, generally speaking the only real issues with it is that it's a non-ISO layout keyboard which means the enter key is well wrong and the backslash is on the wrong side of the spacebar. Also, just to note, I'd prefer the Windows key on the left hand side where the FN key is, and yes, I understand that's a gaming feature, but I'd rather have it to be able to turn it off at some point, you know, while I'm gaming, rather than have it kind of annoy me for the majority of things that I'm doing, including work on the laptop. Now, the speakers are actually pretty awesome, especially for a laptop, um, and uh, they're kind of located just above the keyboard, and the power button is uh, a nice central location. Now, the keyboard is actually a three zone RGB uh, kind of setup, which is really nice. And despite the kind of errors you get with this, the hash being in the wrong place, uh, I actually really like typing on it. Other than that, the trackpad is fantastic and I love it to bits. It's honestly the best trackpad I've used um, with a really, really nice uh, sort of scroll touch. You've got two finger scrolling, you've got pinch to zoom. Um, generally, just very nice to, to look at, uh, to, to you, sorry. Um, also, the screen, while these pictures and videos don't really do it justice, I definitely recommend this screen uh, a lot. The viewing angles from top, bottom and the sides are fantastic and I, uh, I can't, you know, uh, say how much I, I like it enough. Um, overall, in terms of performance, um, I'm, I was actually very surprised with this. So. The temperatures were fantastic, the CPU didn't breach more than about 55 degrees, um, uh, you know, sort of 60 degrees to be safe, and uh, the GPU only hit around about 78 degrees, and that's including uh, full load on uh, on a bed by accident, so... Um, so yeah, I was quite impressed with that. In terms of FPS, FPS numbers, you're looking at things like 60 uh, or 60 plus FPS in most games on high settings, which is fantastic. This is a 970M with an i7 processor, uh, but it is a really great experience and definitely can handle pretty much anything you throw at it on medium, high, and possibly even ultra settings a lot of the time. I mean, Far Cry was running on ultra, uh, so was Dirt uh, Rally actually. So there you go, this is an awesome, very powerful, relatively cool laptop, um, with the only exception being that I don't really like the keyboard design, but uh, other than that, um, let's go for my full thoughts and opinions. So if you saw my last video on the GS60, you'll know that I really love this laptop. In fact, this one specifically is almost perfect, it's so close if they just fix the keyboard. Now, as a British, okay, Scottish, but still British citizen, I would really like to see a UK or ISO layout keyboard on these laptops that are sold in the UK. If they did that, I would definitely be buying one of these in my own money because I just love everything else about it. I mean, the screen's fantastic with viewing angles and color reproduction and brightness. It's, it's great. The trackpad is amazing. Two finger scroll feels very premium. The overall feel is very premium. Even when you shut the lid, there's a kind of rubber seal around the edge so that when you shut it, it doesn't make a kind of slapping noise. It's just a very kind of soft close, you know, like the soft close kitchen drawers. It's just generally quite nice. Um, you know, things like the temperatures so the CPU gets less than 60 degrees under full load and uh, the GPU is less than 80 which is okay still quite high but still very nice and the laptop's pretty quiet as well so you know overall okay battery life it's you know not gonna be your next uh, you know iPad Pro with 17 billion hours of battery life but it's still gonna do four hours of web browsing just like pretty much every other laptop in this category and still do about an hour or so of gaming so 
you know, it's a really generally very nice experience if they just fix the keyboard. Um, in terms of scoring, it's going to get a 5 for everything except for functionality, which will be a 4 because keyboard, um, that's pretty much it. Also, it's going to get the Gamer Approved Award and the Tech Team GB Approved Award, but those two will merge together and get the top tier award if they ever fix the keyboard. If they do that, they can have it and they, whatever, they, it's theirs. But uh, until then, it's going to get those two. Um, so other than that, I guess that probably uh, gives you all of my thoughts and opinions, so uh, time to round out. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, check out some of the other ones over there, and if you want to buy this or any other laptops, desktops, or anything else, and you're in the UK, please do check out Yoyo Tech. Um, it's, you know, relatively local UK business, so, you know, if you want to support your country, then feel free to click that down below. Um, other than that, uh, yeah, subscribe for more awesome tech stuff, including reviews and original content, including the Cooler Master Episode 3, which will be out next week uh and yeah other than that thanks for watching subscribe like comment share please and uh we'll see you on the next video